Hunza craftsmanship has been a way of life for centuries. Most crafts have survived by carrying on by the local population, unnoticed or adapting to the times. Taj Bibi is one of those Hunza Kut women who have been custodians of the traditional art of cross-stitch embroidery, which is a highly revered legacy in Hunza, handed down through generations mostly confined to the circular Hunza caps. The craft trade was globalized through Silk Route, providing a welcome break from the standard monoculture of Hunza Cap. <laughs> this is where dreams seen by Nilofer's mother's old eyes are being shaped into reality by the deft hands of young women. For centuries, the legacy of Taj Bibi has been passed on to generations of women in Hunza, who, while sitting by the hearth side in the frosty winter evenings, spent their time in making traditional Hunzakut caps using the indigenous hand embroidery skills. Nobody would have thought that one day the same craft pursued as a hobby will translate dreams of hundreds of women into real benefits of economic empowerment.
lap of the lofty peaks of the Karakoram, Western Himalayas, and Hindu Kush. The Hunza Valley is a symbol of nature's artistry. Steeped in magical beauty, sleepy villages in Hunza are awakening to the dreams that are slowly becoming real. Dreams fired by a passion to preserve the past and a desire for a better future. Karakoram Area Development Organization Kado A non-profit entity has been their dream catcher. Kado was set up in 1997 with the financial and technical assistance of the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation, the SDC, to create employment and income generation opportunities for the people of Hunza through the revival of traditional skills and crafts. Kado targets the marginalized groups of the society, women and the disabled. Despite rapid socio-economic progress that came with the opening up of Hunza to the outside world through the KKH, life for the inhabitants of this small magic kingdom remained relatively unchanged and precarious. Artisans, people with special needs and particularly marginalized women continue to suffer from intense poverty, unemployment, gender inequality and social exclusion. In a little more than a decade, Kado has not only helped create financially viable entrepreneurial ventures and brought forth about a fulfilling transformation in a society, but has also challenged deep-rooted gender roles. One such initiative is the SDC-supported Karakoram Handicrafts Development Program, KHDP, through which women have been trained to refine their skills of embroidery, cutting, and sewing into viable enterprises. The program has effectively inducted home-based women through primary production units that allowed them to work from the confines of their own homes at their own leisure on contract basis. The secondary production units employed skilled tailors to work on the secondary stage of production, transforming embroidered pieces of cloth into elegant and marketable products. Employing a market value chain approach, the timeless skill of embroidery which was used for making caps, has now found its use for a more attractive and contemporary range of products such as wallets, doorbells, travel pouches, mobile sleeves, giving a thrust to the establishment of a craft industry promoted under the brand name of Threadnet Hunza. Through research and hard work, the quality and designs have also been improved to match the contemporary tastes along with transferring the knowledge of bookkeeping, costing and marketing to these young enterprising women. Uh, maybe you have the boxes from glasses. Yes? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The road to graduating from worker to owner and from employee to employer has been tread by these women through a lot of hard work and commitment. For my brothers. Today, Years of struggle, hard work and heartfelt passion 
glow on the faces of the women of Hunza, who now own and run six independent companies as shareholders. एक बिजनेस किस तरह करते हैं पब्लिक को किस तरह डील करते हैं पहले बिजनेस के चुनाव किस तरह करते हैं सब कुछ कारों ने हमें ट्रेनिंग किया था उसके बाद हमारे अंदर जो सलाहियत था वो बहुत बेहतरी आई अब हम सीखते हैं कि बाहर कस्टमर से किस तरह बात करते हैं और हमें किस तरह उठना है बैठना है अब सब कुछ हम ए, मतलब सीख चुके हैं यहाँ से यहाँ का कोई नौकरी नहीं था तो मैंने खुद यहाँ से जो कमाई किया था उसके जरिए मैंने अपने बच्चों को भी पढ़ाया और एक छोटा सा घर भी मैंने बनाया These enterprising women employ 3,500 women artisans, and each product produced by them undergoes through stringent quality control. Offering income generation opportunities to thousands of home-based women. Apart from Threadnet Hunza, the products are now marketed under their own brands, such as Women Arts and Crafts Private Limited, Bibi Khatija Handicrafts Private Limited, Kara Koram Handicrafts Private Limited, Darul Hunar Silk Root Handicrafts, and Oriental Mountain Handicrafts. Each piece of embroidered handicraft speaks volumes about the passion and creativity of their labor. All these enterprising women now see life with real optimism and feel quite happy about working on their own businesses. I joined the Inter-Pass. After that, I have been working on my master's in final year. Their skills have not only made them get education for their children, but the work they do has earned them respect and a chance to voice their own opinions. When a woman is working on her own, उसका घर के लिए भी फायदा होते हैं, बल बच्चों भी पढ़ा सकते हैं और हेल्थ का वो मदद भी कर सकती हैं। They know their labor of love will not only fetch them money and food, but also admiration in the eyes of their family and community. It is first of its kind that the women have entered into a value chain, and now they are holding, they are the owners, or rather they are the governors of the value chain for the handicraft is concerned. In the folds of the region's magical beauty lie the threads of toil. At the Sharma Rehabilitation Center, where every pair of hands is engaged in the labor of love to keep the hopes and aspirations of the special people alive. The Sharma Center has openness, a rawness which bonds special people together. It is an essential expression of humanity that builds on the intense feelings and unique insights of the mentally challenged people. The Sharma Rehabilitation Center resonates with the laughter and songs of the people with special needs. The disabled are encouraged to explore alternate sources of income generation, like playing traditional musical instruments. <laughs> 